my face is so bright up in this area that's why so okay guys so I have a little bit of translucent powder underneath my eyes to catch any of the fallout that might come from the eyeshadows so if you're wondering why my face is so bright up in this area that's why so please don't pay any attention to my nails I'm going to start so first of all I'm going to be using a few eyeshadows for this as you can see in the description or in the title this is going to be a smoky uh, purple look so I'm going to be using a couple makeup geek eyeshadows about three of them I'm going to be using backlight for the inner corner so if you have that or any iridescent purple maybe like stars and rockets from Mac that's a popular one so you can use that um, this is cocoa bear you can use any red <laughs> You can use any reddish brown. This is from Makeup Geek. And I also have Bitten. And this is just kind of like a plummy red color. So if you have any of these, if you have any similar color to these, you can use these. So if you have any similar colors to those, you can use those. Poison Plum. What is this color called? Poison Plum from Sugar Pill. And it's just a pretty purple color. So you can still get this if you don't have it. And then from the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, I'm gonna be using this color here, Deep Purple. So first I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Cocoa Bear. This color here. And I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills brush. I think this came in one of her palettes. I don't know. But a lot of my brushes are dirty, so I'm just going to use this one. And I'm just taking that in my crease. So that's how that looks pretty well blended so quick then I'm gonna go in with this brush this is just the brush I got from cosmetics it's like two dollars on their website but I really like this brush it's made of um, it is made of squirrel hair so it blends really well I like it and I'm gonna put that a little bit lower so now I think that well this is how the eyes should look now well I'm gonna blend this part over here a little better than what I did Oh my gosh, she needs to sell these brushes. So now I'm going to go in with the Poison Plum color. Right there. And I'm going to add a little bit of that into my crease as well. Because when I put the purple all over my lid, I want something there for it to blend into a little bit better. So I'm probably going to go with, in with this one because it's a little bit more tapered. You want something like that a little bit more tapered Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with my Smith 235 brush. I love this brush. So I'm gonna go in with that. Pack it on. I have 
haven't had any fallout so far. So that's pretty good. And I'm just packing that color on. Like packing. Motions like this are gonna get you a lot of color payoff. I'm going to take a little bit more of Bitten, that plummy red color, and I'm going to put that in the crease because I really just want it to be vibrant and popping, you know, popping. Take bitten on the top of this, I mean on the point of this brush, these points. And I'm gonna go underneath my lash line and really smoke it out. We just want it to be really intense. I hope you guys can see. So this is gonna give our purple something to blend into. And then I'm just blending that out a little bit more. I think this is lower than I have in picture. Like my smoky eye I think is a little bit lower. And then I'm gonna take some more of Sugar Plum and put that on my lower lash line. So now I'm going to line my waterline. Let me put my nail. I was gonna paint my nails on a train and then I decided not to. It's crazy, crazy little situation there. But, um, so we're almost done. Now for this part, you can take a black liner or a purple liner. I think I'm gonna do a black liner. I don't think I did that in the picture, but I'm gonna do that part different. And then also, um, I'm going to take this Anastasia Beverly Hills Deep Purple Color. This color right here. It's a beautiful, like, royal purple color. And I'm going to put that on my brush. So we can get that foil metallic look. I'm going to pack that. This is what really made this eye look intense. I'm just so nervous about my lighting because it changed it a little bit and I'm hoping that you guys can see all this. If you can't, I'll have to refilm it. So I'm just packing that all over the lid like that. Blending out the edges, of course. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. 
for the inner corners. I'm gonna take Makeup Geek Black Light and I am going to use, I'll use a different brush. I'm gonna use the end of this Makeup for, I mean this Anastasia Beverly Hills brush on the smaller side. Put some of that on here and then pack it on the inside. Pack it on. Ooh. It's so pretty. It has like blue and pink and purple. Can you see it? And I'm really packing that on there because I want you to see this. I am going to go in with a little blush. This is from MAC and it is Love Joy. It has kind of replaced Warm Soul that I love so much. And I'm taking this Morphe M403 brush and I'm just going to dust it on my cheekies. And I'm using this one because one, well, it's my favorite, and two, it's like a peachy blush, but it will look really nice with this look. So, that is that. So I am gonna do a little bit of highlighting. I'm using a little bit of my NARS, my NARS Orgasm Illuminator. Just on the tops of my cheeks. It's a liquid. I feel like I have to use this, otherwise my highlight will not stay. I'm going to take a little bit of Champagne Pop, which I've been using so much because I love it. Just a little dusting because I'm about to go to bed. So. I'm not going anywhere, y'all. So that's that. Um, I'll apply my lashes off camera, so this video isn't a hundred years long. It doesn't need to be. It's not even that deep. So I'm going to try this out. This is Ch Chateau from Colourpop, and this is their Mad X lipsticks. Okay guys, that concludes this video. I hope that you learned something new and that you enjoyed this look that I recreated from the picture from my Instagram. I did change the lip, oh, I mean a lot of it. I changed the lip because I always kind of do the same thing. So I wanna step outside of my comfort zone. Again, I hope that you guys learned something cool. Please subscribe, comment, 
uh, leave some ideas. I would love for you to grow with me. So yes, please subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.